So in this tutorial I want to show you how we can create a simple flashlight. I've started with the first person template. So let's just jump right in. Let's click edit, project settings, input, action mappings, and let's create a new action map. Let's just call it flashlight. And now we have to set a key for this. So we're going to choose tab for this tutorial. You can change it to anything you want. So this is just basically creating a a keystroke for our flashlight to work and we can call that in the blueprint and now we can go down to blueprints and double click my character components add component spotlight let's move that a bit forwards we're going to put it just on the end of this gun right here Let's uh, turn the outer radius down and put an inner radius in it. Intensity up a bit. Let's just give it a bit of a blue tint. And now if we jump in game, we shall see that we now have a flashlight. It's quite small at the moment. I could turn the radius up a bit. But as you see, it's not going up and down. So let's sort that out right now do that we need to let's drag we have our spotlight in the side here so let's just drag that in click get set world rotation right click and let's go on get rotation get control rotation of the pawn and connect the rotation values together and we want to right click input mouse events mouse X and mouse Y let's connect those together and now if we jump in game we can see that it is now going up and down with our character. So let's make it so we can turn it on and off. We can simply do this just by calling our action map. So we'll right click, input, action events and look there's our flashlight. And because we set the, the key in the project settings it's going to be well, I've set to tab so we can drag out the pressed and let's type in flow right here and let's do flip flop. Let's get the dra drag the spotlight in again. Get drag that out. Set visibility. Actually, it's a toggle toggle visibility. That's what we want. And A to that. And B to that. I just copied and pasted it. So now, let's, let's give this a print string off and on. So now it's going to uh, give us a message when we turn the flashlight on and off. There we go, so we've got our message up in the top left. And the key input tab for me is now working, and we get we have got a rotation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.